Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ajona. Welcome to episode 36 of Game Programming. <clears throat> so, um, today we're going to be doing something that you guys probably wanted to do for the past, I don't know, 10 episodes. And that is actually render our tiles on, onto the screen. So, what we've got right now is you might think we're rendering tiles onto the screen, but really we're not. Like we are, but we're, we're using a method that we used probably about 10 episodes ago. And, uh, and well, it's just not the best method. Um, as we, uh, as we, you know, discovered, I guess. Um, but yeah, the method that we're actually using, if, if we go into our game.java, right? So this is our main, like, this is our main class because it's called a main class because it contains our main method, which is, which is what Java runs when we run our application. Now, in this render method, and this render method is the main render method. Everything that's in this render method is actually what gets rendered onto the screen. So you can see that over here, we've got a line of code saying screen.render. Now, if we follow that by hitting, holding down control and clicking, I'm using Eclipse by the way, so if you're using another IDE, it might not be the same, but control click on render. We can see that this is what we're, this is what we're using to render. We're simply, we're just simply rendering just grass right now, okay? That's what we're doing. So what I'm gonna do right now is delete that method. Yep. That's right. I just deleted the render with two integers as the parameters. I just deleted that method from the screen class. Boom. Shit, it's getting real right now. Um, and we'll also get rid of that. So now if we run our game, you'll find out that we're not actually rendering anything. And uh, yeah, so right now we're going to actually render this level render method and hopefully it'll work as it should. So um, first of all, you can see over here that we've actually got um, the way that it's actually rendering is it's, it, it's calling um, the render method inside the tile class. So if you go into our tile class, or specifically, let's just say a grass tile class, you can see that what it's doing is it's calling screen.render tile. And if we follow that, you can see that this is what's rendering it. So it is still rendering something. That's great. It works perfectly. Well, it should work perfectly. On paper, it works perfectly. Um, now, I've, I've actually deliberately littered, littered a few bugs around this, around this joint. Um, just to show you guys, like, what happens if you, um, you know, if, if you use, like, I, I don't know, I guess the wrong code. If you don't, if you don't actually use your maths correctly, um, if you don't figure out the maths correctly, what happens? Just, just so that you guys can, can sort of see, you know, um, in future, if you make an error and you'll be like, oh, I remember that. Um, that's just because of this, because you'll, you'll, we'll see what the result is. Because um, there are a lot of common errors you can make, obviously. So, just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, so the way we're going to do this is we're actually going to call our levels. So this is the level class. We're actually going to call our levels render method. So over here in game, we first of all need to make a new level. So up here at the beginning, I'm going to type private level level, right? And this is just going to be our level right now. Now, um, one thing you should realize also is that you should only have one level loaded at one point in time. Okay. Um, there's absolutely no point in having two levels cached because you won't actually, you know, you can't display two levels at once. Our character can only be on one level at one time. If he goes to another level, then we switch levels, but we never have two levels um, running parallel at the same time. So we only need one level object really. And over here in game, so this is our constructor, I'm just gonna simply type level equals new random level, and then we'll give it a size. So let's just say 64 by 64. So that's obviously in terms of tiles. So our level size, our random level size will be 64 by 64 tiles. Now, if we go down here into our render method, we're simply gonna call our levels render method. So level dot render. And then you'll see that we have three parameters to fill in, the X scroll, the Y scroll, and the screen. So the X scroll will simply be, for now, you know, our X, our X and Y variables that we, that we made up here. So X, Y, and screen will obviously be our screen object. And that's it. That is it. So let's just, right now, let's just run and see what happens. All right, so we actually got a null pointer exception and that's probably because uh, random, yeah, I'm guessing random's null here because um, it's not static. So let's just make it static, all right? So static obviously means that it's sort of cache. Again, we, we won't actually need to have multiple random objects, so making it static can't hurt. So let's run that again, hopefully it won't crash. All right, didn't crash, great. Now you can see on our screen that we've, well, Let's just say we didn't get our desired result. Um, instead, we got this. Now, this is one of the bugs that I, you know, didn't take out um, on purpose, just to let you guys know, you know, what it looks like. So, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that something's wrong here. Um, 
The main thing that's wrong here, you might you might actually notice, is you can actually see that we have actually drawn in tiles. I'm gonna zoom in here really fast so you can see. Um, but you can see we are actually drawing tiles, but they seem to be one by one pixels. What's wrong? And the thing that's wrong here is we actually haven't converted from pixel precision to tile precision. So it's rendering literally one tile per pixel. The reason this tile looks half all right is because we've actually run out of our 64 by 64 size map. We've just like run out of it. That's why it looks okay. Um, or, or rather we've run out of the screen, the screen resolution. So that's why the last tile is sort of like, it's like in a void zone. Um, but yeah, the tiles are clearly too small here. So what, what, what went wrong? And if we go into our level class, we can actually see that um, what we did over here is we converted it into, you know, tile precision. But when we render, obviously our, our, our renderer, you know, it needs to convert back into pixel precision to render because we're rendering individual pixels around, but not tiles. Like to render a tile, we need to actually render 16 pixels by 16 pixels. So if we actually go into our get tiles render method and we just go into our grass tile, for example, you'll see that screen.renderTile is simply, re simply rendering X and Y. But remember that the X and Y variables that we inputted right over here, which is over here in our render X, Y, they were simply the tile precision sprites. Oh, sorry, not sprites, um, tile precision um, integers. So over here, we need to convert these back into, um, back into, uh, in, 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 into pixel precision before we actually render them. So over here, I'm simply going to do the opposite of divided by 16. I'm going to multiply by 16. And to do that, I'm just simply going to shift it left by four, okay? Because that is the exact same as doing that. It's just faster because it's a binary operation. And, you know, there's no need to actually multiply by 16 if we can do that. And that is, that's, that's that, okay? One other thing we need to do is do the same thing for our void tile, obviously. So over here in void tile, we'll just multiply uh, both x and y by 16. That's it. Let's run it. Look at that. Beautiful. We've got a map. Now, if I actually just move, you can see that, well, we've got a few things wrong here. Um, first of all, you know, you can actually see the tiles being, being drawn, which is actually really cool, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But the other thing is, um, no, that's probably about it. Oh, yeah. Um, well, the other thing that you can see is that, you know, we're actually scrolling through a map. So it's not like one, it's not like the map's the size of the screen, which, which is what it was before. Um, now, actually, you can see that we're, um, we're crashing, first of all. That's all right. I just have to remember not to go out of the bounds of the map yet because we haven't handled that. Um, but, um, yeah, you can see that we're actually scrolling through a map that is 64 by 64 size. Uh, map 64 by 64 tiles and you can see that um, it's, it's you know it's random actually every time we launch it and the way that it's getting generated obviously is it's saying one and basically one in four tiles are going to be grass so yeah you can see how that's sort of working out now this blue is obviously the, the void tile because we actually made the void tile blue if you remember in you're in sprite we actually made the void tile this color which is you know the void sprite this color which is blue um, so yeah, but that is our result. So one thing I want to talk about really quickly, um, is this sort of thing that you see here. Now this is really cool. All right. And you can see that we're actually running pretty fast here. I say that just as the FPS drops, but, um, we're about three and a half thousand FPS, which is very good. Um, but yeah, um, what, what you can sort of see here is this, this black border, I guess that we see here. And the, it's basically, I, I think you might've actually noticed last time or not last time, but like, when I was actually doing this render tile method, I, I said that I, I would deliberately make this break method do what it did just to show you guys the effect. And that is the effect. You can see that as I scroll right, for example, you can actually see how this tile, how, how this, this like Y, um, you know, uh, placement of tiles sort of disappears. And then this one appears because what we're doing is we're only rendering what is, what is visible to the player. We're only rendering what's on our screen. We're not rendering stuff that's not. We're only rendering the stuff that is on our screen, which is very beautiful. So you can see sort of how it's doing that. It's, it's, it's removing these tiles from the render queue and it's putting these tiles into the render queue as we approach them. Now, obviously we sort of need to offset this by one tile so that we actually don't see this flickering, but that is the idea of how it works. And that's what you need to do. You only need to render what, what you see on the screen because if you don't, you know, you're gonna have major FPS problems. And this is actually what lets us have our map infinite because, you know, there's no reason why 
as soon as we approach another area of the map why we can't simply just load those tiles from a file because um that's very fast and that will result in an excellent you know infinitely sized map pretty much with um with no with no fps with the same fps as we're having now so yeah um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this episode of game programming guys if you did please hit the like button and um yeah next time we'll probably take a look at fixing um this thing or we, are, or we also need to fix the other problem which is crashing because you can see that once we go out of bounds which is about to happen come on there we go once we go out of bounds so in other words we've reached the end of the vertical size of the map remember the, the map is 64 by 64 tiles um you can see that we actually crash with an array, with an array index out of bounds exception so we'll probably take a look at fixing that but until then guys goodbye mm -hmm.